I can't even remember exactly how it started, but then all the next thing I heard was that she and Trace, or maybe just Trace, were gathering votes like crazy, and then we had... Um, she was on the homecoming court. That was a big deal. Yeah, she was on the homecoming court, and then, you know, I was worried about, you know, if you're on the homecoming court, what do you have to wear? And then we had this uh, Hannah, who was a former homecoming queen, was her... Um, it's part of the UP program. Part of the UP program, you know, helping them with their jobs, and she helped get Allie set up for clothing because we weren't going to be here between then and um, there were so many very very helpful people and then the, the you know we got up here for the parade that was amazing awesome to have you back thanks right. thanks The whole thing with, I think, is amazing for the university, just the amount of, you know, young men and women that are involved in the program of supports, um, that support eight kids, you know, or eight young adults, and, um, but they, it, it so far reaches beyond those kids that nearly everybody on campus knows those eight kids, I feel, through those, you know, support people. And uh, it was just incredible what they did for the those you know two in the up program because I think that's a very says a lot about what the university really is about in supporting all kinds of people. Our expectations were that it was a low uh, probability, obviously, that she would be you know crowned the homecoming queen. So uh, she'd gone to the the practice session and the earlier that day they, her sister went with her to figure out where to stand and the whole thing I wasn't able to do that because I was preparing all this food and, and so I jumped in my suit and went over to the stadium and got in position and and um, she was quick to tell me that she knew exactly where to go what to do and all I needed to do was just follow her lead and instructions and I'd be fine so we lined up right behind the Chancellor and all of these folks and went out on the field and the uh, cheering and enthusiasm in the crowd was unbelievable for all of the candidates but in particular these two kids in the uh, UP program. So um, she reminded me that if they call her name that my job was to stand right there and not to move that she'd take over from there and go get her crown and do all the thing and they went to announce the name and it, it, it was so loud and deafening I never heard her name called but uh, it was probably one of the most emotional things that I've ever <laughs> been involved with as a father of four so um, anyway it was very exciting it was profoundly uh, moving for us in particular and for the whole um, the whole Western community I think that they would that the community here would embrace people with intellectual disabilities to a level that the, the student body, if you will, will mm, elect elect uh, the king, you know, disabled kids as the king and queen of their homecoming. Um, I think it just, it, it, it speaks more than volumes of, about the character of the community and the quality of the program that they have here for kids with disabilities. And uh, we're, we both feel forever grateful and indebted to the folks that are here. Yeah, it was just a really fun and exciting and unbelievable thing. experience. Yeah. yeah.